Dress it up, subvert it, deny it all you want. Marriage is an institution that has curtailed women's freedom for centuries. But instead of rejecting the patriarchal and outdated tradition, some feminists have decided to reclaim it. We may have progressed since the Industrial Revolution, where Mary Wollstonecraft described marriage as little more than a state of legal prostitution. But let's not kid ourselves. Even today, marriage is not about equality. It's about perpetuating male privilege. Being given away by your father may seem cute and romantic, but it stems from a time when women were seen literally as their fathers and then their husband's property. The majority of brides still opt for a white gown. Beautiful, yes indeed. But the implication that brides should be virgins is both ludicrous and insulting to women. That a female who has had sex is somehow spoilt goods goes against everything feminists claim to stand for. I know feminists who've taken their husband's name because they say it's easier. Easier than changing your passport, email address, utilities bills and bank account details, I suppose. You're basically being branded, so anyone who sees your name knows immediately who you belong to. Even if a woman does away with all these traditions, accept it. Marriage can never be a feminist act. It has formed the backdrop to women's oppression for centuries, and it continues to do so. Forced marriage, child brides and polygamy all show how human rights violations of women and girls all too often go hand in hand with marriage. It was not until 1991 that rape in marriage was made a criminal offence in England and Wales. And, today, it's still perfectly legal for a man to rape his wife in 47 countries worldwide. So if you want to get married, then just get on with it. But please stop pretending that because you're a feminist, it's some kind of subversive statement. I love Snoop Dogg despite his woman-hating lyrics. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. But I don't pretend that listening to him is a feminist act. And women should stop pretending that marriage is anything other than a tool for their own oppression. Anyway, as the late human rights lawyer Paula Ettelbrick said, marriage is a great institution, if you like living in institutions. Why women should stop striving for equality. I've got a confession to make. I don't believe in equality. In fact, I find the whole idea pretty troubling. 